Hello, LibriVox recorders, or recorders that you want to be. This is how to set up your technical specifications for um, Audacity for LibriVox. There are five that you'll need to set. One is it has to be one track, meaning mono. Uh, the sample frequency is 44.1 kilohertz. Bit size is 16. The MP3 file format and 128 kilobytes uh, bit rate constant. Now this is, these are very simple and easy. The first three are set up using the Edit Preferences menu. Edit Preferences. Um, all of these on the left hand side. We're going to start with Devices. Leave If it's not there you click on that. You'll notice that there is the choice of channels. One channel, mono or stereo. You want mono. That's set up the first one. Next, we want to go to quality, um, which is going to be, um, you want to choose your, here you go, default sample rate or sample frequency is 44.100. You'll notice you have a lot of choices. That's what we want. And then the bit rate here is 16 bit. You could choose other bits, but we want that one. That's it for that one. You say, okay. Now. You need to have some audio in your track because you're going to export it. So to get these, we're, the last two, we use the export menu. File, export, export as. You can pick whatever you want, but it better be MP3. <laughs> now, this is going to bring you up to where it says, what file name do you want for it? It's going to save it as an MP3, and then you get to choose what kilobits right you want down here bit rate is going to be 128 boop, constant and you can force it export to mono if, mono if you want it's not that critical that's it you have now set up your text specifications the next time you open up audacity it's going to keep those specifications for you and it's wonderful unless you have to change them for some reason so those are the four if you use these settings for your one minute test or for anything else your tech specs are going to be fine now i can't value about your volume but this is going to be good this is phil shinever saying the for um audacity version 2.4.2 .2, october 2020 the latest and the greatest thank you record a lot folks